these kind of sticky footers are becoming more and more popular on websites and it makes a lot of sense because this kind of like signals that the footer is not part of the page which is technically true because a footer appears on multiple pages right and that's why i think this trend has become popular and then another trend on top of that is rounded corners on your main background sections which really work well for this last section and makes your design look less blocky which is of course what you want because you don't want to be too boring and it looks quite simple but it's not super simple to do in elementor because you will run into some issues so in this video i want to show you how i did that and if you guys like this kind of videos then i will create more i am personally on a mission to make a library of all kinds of cool effects you can do in elementor to make a design less boring and this is definitely one of them i really like this effect so let's just get started the first thing you have to do is obviously create a page with some content because we need something to test it with and then you also need to create some kind of footer so i created a simple footer here with elementor pro nothing really special here as you can see it doesn't stick it doesn't have the rounded corners so the first thing that i did to make this work is just go to motion effects uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to click on it so I just clicked on edit with container then in the advanced tab if you scroll down to motion effects you can turn this into a sticky bottom but you can already see a problem here it's gonna be on top so let's quickly check it what happens when you just put it on sticky yeah it's basically in your face all the time but this is kind of like the trick it just lives in the background so we need to find a way to put those sections on top of the footer so that's the second thing i did inside of your footer template you also need to play around with the z index and uh, this is actually part in the layout over here and then you have to put this one on zero and when you do that you can already see something happening here the footer basically becomes the lowest layer but of course then we run into other problems because then other types of visuals will go on top of it that have a higher layer count or a higher z index and so we need to go to the other sections on the website so not inside of the footer but i'm actually gonna uh, edit the page now i can just click over here and edit the page and then one by one i'm just going to go into these sections if i can click on them yes and then in advance i'm going to make sure that they are higher as zero because the footer is zero so this is going to be layer one it should be on top of it and now you see what happens this section is now on top of it so i'm simply just going to add a z index one to all of the sections okay now i did that so it should kind of work right now let's check it and there we go the footer is not on top anymore but wait what is happening it looks like our footer is in the background okay here it works but these sections over here they don't have a background color and yes i know that in elementor it looks like sections have background colors but it's just white actually there's just nothing it's transparent and so the next thing you need to do in order to make this work is also make sure that your individual sections have a background color i've set up my global colors over here and there you go so let me add some background colors to the other ones as well this section has a background color but also an overlay to make that blur here at the bottom you see that so there's like two layers going on a white background and then an overlay to make that nice gradient okay so now it should start to look like something let's check it out yes so this works and this is the most simple version that you can do let's quickly check responsiveness on tablet mode it works perfectly fine very cool and on mobile it also works very cool 
And there's, by the way, two things you have to keep in mind. And that is that the background on your last section of the page should have a quite uh, contrasting color with your footer. Otherwise, the effect will not really work. And the second thing you have to keep in mind is that you should not have any space between your sections. I know many people still do that in Elementor. I do not recommend it, but many people just add some margin at the top between the sections to create some kind of spacing. But then the footer will appear because it's basically always there. And so make sure that your sections connect closely without any margin at the top or at the bottom. Otherwise you will start to see your footer through it. So you could stop right here, but if you're not easily satisfied like me and you want to spice it up a little bit more, then the rounded corners are just a very nice addition. Look at that. It's just so cool. It's not super easy. It's not just adding rounded corners. So let's try that. I'm going to go into the last section of my page. I'm not in the footer template, even though we see it over here. And then I'm going to go to the style tab then border and here we can add that radius so if we would add a radius here for example 24 we could see the rounded corners over here and it works actually nicely let's test it and it does work but you do see the gap over here you see that and also here at the top because again that footer is still in the background and so we need to adjust that a little bit and the easiest way to do that what i found is that we can use some negative margin first for this section where the footer comes through it we just want to drag it up into this section with the white background a little bit so you can do that by going to advanced going to margin and then just adding minus at least 24 uh, pixels here at the bottom. Let's do 24. This will of course change the padding I had in this top section, but that's an easy fix by just adding some more padding in this uh, white container, right? But now we should have fixed that gap. Let's test it. There we go. We don't see the blue through this one anymore very cool and of course we can also add some negative margin here at the bottom but that means that we would have to do that for every single page on the website so it's smarter if we go to our footer templates and then add that negative margin here at the top so we're basically dragging the footer up a little bit on all pages so i'm also going to put it on minus 24 and let's now test it That works perfectly fine. And of course, now you should add a little bit more padding to make sure it's all balanced, but that's as easy as just adding two RAM over here. And there we go. That was it. Not so hard, and I think it's really cool. I would love to see this in one of your next projects. So if you did this, let me know in the comments below. It's always very cool to see work from you guys. And if you followed this tutorial, but you cannot really figure it out, then you can just download this project via the link in the description, and then you can see how I set it up. So yeah. This was it. I think it's really cool, simple, but effective. And it makes so much sense to have a footer sticky at the bottom. So I think that we're going to see this a lot more in web design. More simple tips and tricks are coming to my channel. And then I hope to see you in my next video.